Hello guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. In this one, we're gonna quickly see how we can install IPython and some people like to work on it. So let's just quickly do it. So let's first do it on the terminal if you guys wanna work on the terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up my virtual environment. So source, venv, pin, and activate. This is gonna bring up my virtual environment, right? So if I see my Python version now, I should be able to see 3.5, right? Now what I can do is I can just use pip to install IPython. And important thing to remember is always use sudo. So pip install IPython, right? And it's gonna install all the dependencies as well on its own. So you don't have to worry about those things. So just hit enter. And it's gonna ask for the password so please make sure that you are uh, right type the correct password and hit enter so it's gonna collect all the requirements and it's done right so it says successfully install all these things as well app knob decorator and pretty much everything whatever ipython needs so this is as simple as that we can install pretty much everything pretty much almost everything using pip and it's pretty easy in python right so now let's see how we can install in our pycharm and we can actually pretty much do all the things that we can do in the terminal using our pycharm as well so let's do this so just click on the top on the preferences if you have mac or settings if you have windows and then just go there so i prefer to just increase the font so i've increased the font for the console to 16 uh, and you can just minimize it so then you can just go to build execution and deployment go to console and select this use ipython if available so that's important and now let's see what we need to do in order to install it right so go to project and go to project interpreter and here you would see all the available uh, or maybe you can say installed uh, modules in our pycharm right so just click on plus sign and just say i python so just to just to show you guys that what's available so only these are available right now right and when i'm gonna install this i python and there you go so it's gonna install a lot of other dependencies as well so i'm just gonna select this i'm not gonna select this thing and i'm gonna say install package and it says installing right and it's pretty quick it says package ipython installed successfully so i can just close it and you guys can see it's not just one added all these app no decorator chain you line ipython and everything is already installed successfully so i can just click ok and i can open the python console and now if you see this it's a different console it says line number two and all those things so I can just type anything like a equals to 10 and if I say a now it's gonna show me the output as 10 it's a little little neat than just the Python terminal right it shows you the input and the output so basically it's line it's input and it's output and the line number right so that's pretty much it guys and just install it use it if you like Python and let me know if you have any questions so stay tuned for the next lectures guys thanks for ending this one